This is a trailing edge, it's like we call Dima, 50 watt load for LED and 100 watt load for incandescent, halogen, C certified. Now we're gonna introduce how to wear and how to connect with the Zigbee devices. Let's take a look at the product itself. There is a rotary knob for dimming. Back here, the pairing button for network pairing, touch link, factory reset. A indicator shows the status of different color when having different settings. A micro switch for minimal brightness setting. This cord dimmer works with neutral wire, so we got four terminals, air in and N in, air out and N out. Now we're gonna connect the wires. Step one, unscrew the protection mat and the closing screws. Step two, take out the knob and the front cover. Step three, unscrew the cord anchorage. Step four, connect supply cable to the terminals L and N of the electronic board. Step five, connect line cable to the terminals, identified by the symbol of the electronic board. Now, we need to fasten the lines through the four screws. Step six, mount the front cover and the knob. Screwing the screws. And put the protection mat. Now we test the dimmer. Firstly, press the knob once to turn on the lamp. And rotate it to dim the brightness you want. And turn off it. Our Zigbee Dima could work with Philips Hue, Amazon Alexa, and Google Home. To connect with Philips Hue, please make sure you have your Hue bridge and your phone on the same Wi-Fi. Open the Hue app, go to the settings, find light setup. and choose Add Light. Then don't press the power button on the dimmer. With seeing the red light to make sure this device is in factory reset mode. And double press the dimmer to activate the power mode. Now Touch the search on the phone. After a few seconds, there will be a new light on the screen. Go back to the home setting. Choose rooms and zones. Create a new room for new light. And back to home. 
Now you can control your light remotely 